Hey guys, welcome to the 23rd episode of Q&A. We are having a very important topic covered in today's episode related to the special standard cells described in the series of unified power format in VLSI. Viewer Vandana Sagi has asked in the third episode of unified power format about the fundamental difference between digital buffer and buffer logic level shifter in standard cell. So today's episode we are going to zoom into this fundamental difference theoretically along with example. Stay tuned till the end of this episode to understand the difference. Hey guys, welcome back to the computer screen. In today's episode, we are discussing Vandana's question. Why level shifter is a buffer? Is there any reason behind being a buffer and not any standard cell? In digital sense, how a buffer allowing high to low or low to high conversion? Now, the last line of this question is the most important part of the question. And here we will focus on today's episode. Vandana has asked this question in the third episode of unified power format. So without any further delay, let's begin. In today's episode, to answer Vandana's questions, we will be covering the below points. What is a digital buffer? Types of digital buffers. What is a level shifter, also known as translator? Types of level shifters. Buffer versus level shifter, a comparison buffer versus level shifter an example we will then take a small quick look on a available logic level shifter asn 74 lv 1t34 finally we will summarize the buffer versus level shifter comparison this is the menu for today without any further delay let's begin what is a digital buffer a digital buffer also known as voltage buffer provides either no voltage or a output voltage that is same as the input voltage. It draws very little current and will not disturb the original circuitry. To do this, the voltage buffer is constituted with a high input impedance. As a consequence, power source will not be affected. That means whenever we are connecting a buffer to a circuitry from where the current flow or the signal flow is coming inside the buffer, the buffer is less likely to affect that particular circuit's drivability. It is also called a unity gain buffer because it provides a gain of one, hence serving no amplification factor. That means the input and the output don't have a amplification relation. A digital buffer is widely used in resistors. So these are very important digital circuits widely used in processors. A typical digital buffer that is used to control a typical digital buffer that is used to control multiple data inputs written onto a bus is a tri-state digital buffer which controls the data flow by tri-state pins. As a student of EC, you are already aware of what is a tri-state operation in digital. We are done with this particular slide and having a short and sweet snippet of digital buffer. Let's move on to the next slide. Types of digital buffer. Now, the types of digital buffer is very important. This is the slide where you will have the complete idea of buffers so that you can side by side compare it with the level shifters because the level shifters also have types. Inverting buffer. So, this kind of buffer produces the state opposite to the input. So, if the input is high, the output is low, and vice versa. Graphically, it is often represented as a triangle with a small circle attaching on the tip. So, this is a plain inverter circuit that we use in our digital electronics. Non inverting buffer. This is a kind of buffer that performs no inversion or decision making possibilities. A single input digital buffer is different from an inverter. It does not invert or alter its input signal in any way. In other words, the output will be high if only if the input is high. Tri state digital buffer. The tri state digital buffer has two inputs a data input and a control input. A control works like a valve which controls the data flow. When the control input is active, the output value is equal to the input value. 
एक्टिव हाई ट्राई स्टेट डिजिटल बफर एंड एक्टिव हाई ट्राई स्टेट डिजिटल बफर इज अ बफर विद कंट्रोल इनपुट आई एज एन एक्टिव स्टेट ओनली वेन द कंट्रोल इनपुट इज वन द डेटा ट्रांसमिशन ऑकर्स तो द एक्टिव हाई ट्राई स्टेट डिजिटल बफर इज अ मच मोर स्पेशलाइज ट्राई स्टेट डिजिटल बफर नाउ यू आर फैमिलियर विद द फोर टाइप्स ऑफ द डिजिटल बफर दट इज इन्वर्टिंग नॉन इन्वर्टिंग ट्राई स्टेट एंड एक्टिव हाई ट्राई स्टेट वी आर डन विद द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ डिजिटल बफर लेट मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड what is a level shifter also known as the translator a level shifter also known as the voltage level translator or logic level shifter in digital electronics is a circuit that used to translate signal from one logic level or voltage domain to another it allows the compatibility between different sub chip blocks of ic's with different voltage requirements such as ttl and cmos Modern systems use level shifters to bridge domains between processors, logic, sensors and other circuitry. In VLSI, the most common logic levels are 1.8 volt, 3.3 volt and 5 volt. However, nowadays the voltage VDD has came down to almost 1 volt or 1.1 volt and even below that in the sub 10 nanometer node. You can follow all these details in the ITRS roadmap. Link will be provided in the description. However, levels above and below these voltages are also used, which I already mentioned. Now, this is a short and sweet description of the level shifter. We are done here. Let's move on to the next slide. Types of level shift. Few slides back, we have seen the types of the digital buffers. Now, let us see what are the types of the level shifters that are available in VLSI design or in the IC market. Unidirectional. All input pins are dedicated to one voltage domain. All output pins are dedicated to other. Bidirectional with dedicated ports. Each voltage domain has both input and output pins, but the data direction of a pin does not change. Each voltage domain has both input and output pins, but the data direction of a pin does not change. Bidirectional with external direction indicator. When an external signal is changed, the input becomes output and vice versa. Bidirectional with auto sensing. A pair of input output spanning voltage domains can act as a either input or output depending on external stimulus without the need of a dedicated direction control pin. The definitions are given to you. The four types of level shifters are depicted here unidirectional, bidirection with external direction indicator, and bidirectional with auto sensing. Up to this page, you can already see the classification of buffers and the classification of level shifters are different. Now, let us move on. to the next slide buffer versus level shifter comparison let us draw now a comparison the job of a buffer is to replicate a digital signal also increase its drive strength being degraded by other circuitry so this is the purpose of the buffer also we can in other words we can say that this is the function of a digital buffer As an example, a buffer take a signal from a microcontroller and reproduce it. Unlike the microcontroller, the buffer has a higher tolerance for being loaded down. At the same time, the buffer will provide more steady output with correct voltage for even with the fastest transition time. So this is one of the use and the level shifter is a similar to a buffer in that it replicates the signal and its drive strength is tolerant to being loaded down so this is a similarity this is a very much similarity of the buffering kind of operation between the buffer and the level shifter however it contains an additional feature which makes it different from the digital buffer is to convert logic levels to the correct voltage value among different voltage domains so here actually the functioning of a level shifter bifurcates from the functioning of a buffer so we'll take some further details in the upcoming slides so we are done with this particular slide so let's move on buffer versus level shifter an example So here we are taking a case example, not a circuit example, a case example where we will exemplify in detail where the limitation of a buffer and from that limiting point when the level shifter comes into the play. A microcontroller will use zero volt and three point three volt for logic one and zero levels, whereas something you want to connect which will use zero volt and five volt instead. Now the logic levels of your microprocessor is zero volt and three point three volt, and the external circuitry is uh, operating at zero and one at zero and five volt. What happens if you connect the two? The microcontroller will try to communicate with the external circuit. It will send zero at zero volt. The external circuit will recognize zero at logic zero. 
everything is fine so far. However, when the microcontroller sends a logic at 1, at 3.3 volt, the external circuit may not recognize the logic one since it expects the logic one to be 5 volt. A level shifter comes into the picture in this particular situation. Now, we replace the buffer with a level shifter. When the microcontroller outputs go 0 to 0, the level shifter will output 0. This is same as the buffer. When the microcontroller outputs 1 at 3.3 volt, the level shifter will convert 3.3 volt signal into 5 volt signal. This, the external circuit is the 0 volt and the 5 volt and everything works out. So, the limitation of a buffer is well explained here and from that point of limitation, the functioning of the level shifter to rescue the operation is also demonstrated. This is the fundamental difference. We are done with this particular slide. So, let's move on to the next slide. Here, we are just exemplifying an openly available IC. You can also have the data sheet if you look for it. And this is the package chip. So you can sometimes use it in the board level operation also. Without any further talking, let's come to the point. The single supply voltage of this translator are 5 volt, 3.3 volt, 2.5 volt, and 1.8 volt VCC. Operating range is from 1.6 volt to 5.5 volt. All these data are picked up from its respective data sheet. If you want, you can Google it and uh, get the data sheet. For up translation, so here comes the level shifting operation. Now 1.2 to 1.8 volt will happen at 1.8 volt. 1.5 volt to 2.5 volt will happen at 2.5 volt. 1.8 to 3.3 will happen at 3.3. 3.3 to 5.0 will happen at 5.0. Now, the down translation will happen like this. 3.3 to 1.8 at 1.8 volt. 3.3 to 2.5 at 2.5 volt. 5 volt to 3.3 volt at 3.3 volt. The output drive of this is 8 milliampere output drive at 5.0 volt, volt. 7 milliampere output drive at 3.3 volt. 3 milliampere output drive at 1.8 volt. Here looking at the data of this particular logic level shifter, you can easily see that the voltage level translations from up and down and down to up and corresponding drive currents are also varying. So here you can practically see the difference of a level shifter from a buffer. So we are done with this particular slide of example. Let's move on to the next slide. Buffer versus level shifter summary. In a nutshell, a buffer tries to recreate the input signal as exactly as possible, whereas a level shifter looks to alter the signal acting like a language interpreter. A buffer is just an amplifier. It takes a signal, puts a low impedance version of the signal. There may be may not be an actual voltage amplification. A level shifter will translate between different standards of logic of logic 1 and logic 0 of separate voltage domains. So we are done with the summary and up to this point, I think you have got the answer of the question what Vandana has asked. We are done with this particular slide. So let's move on. Thank you very much for watching up to this point and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you have some kind of dislikes, put that as in words in the comment section down below and bye for today.